1490 WDAN, Eric Lloyd here in the studio, along with the fabulous Jason B., who is part of UWC that's going to be wrestling in Georgetown. It's Friday night. Uh, UWC, uh, Jason, has become uh, a weekly event again. You're in what, what season is this now? This is season three of UWC Online, but it's actually our seventh year in existence. Yeah, so it's been around a while, and, and really the folks in Georgetown have really taken to it. You get some pretty good crowds in there. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's it's one of those things like the small town feel actually kind of helps this because we're not the mainstream WWE type of environment. So th- what is there to do in a small town? You're you're from a small town yourself. I mean, yes. there, there's not a lot to do. Even a movie at the the local right. mall, you can't get in there for less than 10 bucks. Well, yeah, that's true. And you get, you get great entertainment here by some, uh, some athletes who really put a lot into it. And uh, not only that, it's it's something you can bring the family out to. Oh, absolutely. We yeah, we pride ourselves on doing a family friendly atmosphere. No blood and guts. No no swearing. No no adult oriented themes or anything. I mean, it's all family friendly. Mm-hmm. None of this, you know, uh, super death match garbage. Oh, absolutely. And and uh, I I am lucky enough to occasionally be a part of it, as uh, do some commentary for the the web uh, and the uh, DVDs that come out. And uh, we have got a show coming up this week, this Friday night, which is kind of the culmination of the first part of the of the year. Uh, what is the title of the show? The show is UWC Seven. It is our birthday. It's our seven year anniversary, and yet it's our first big premiere event mm-hmm. of 2015. Yes, and so you've got big uh, main events. What are the, what's the card look like? Well, the card right now, it, it, most of it just got finalized this last Friday mm-hmm. at our live event, but the it's being headlined by Harker Dirge defending the UWC championship against the number one contender, Mark Vandy. Now, this is going to be a heck of a match. Uh, Harker Dirge has been around quite a while. Uh, folks, you'll be uh, he's wrestled around the world and trained by some of the best, been in with a lot of the best. He knows exactly what he's doing. And Mark Vandy is a young man, kind of a taller drink of water, that uh, has a lot of upside, and um, just ask him. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> and he'll, he'll tell you. He's, he's, he's a little bit out there, uh, but it's he's a, a very talented young man and uh, someone who uh, just recently basically won a, a, uh, a, a four-way to match to get into this situation. And, and if you didn't get a chance to see it, uh, if you can find that particular match, the finishing uh, maneuver that he does to get the win is pretty awesome. I mean, it's one of the. Oh, I've I've felt it. It is it is. I've had my bell rung by. It. It's just a. It's a, called the Busaiku knee. It's a running, jumping knee strike straight to the face. And yeah. you know, when you once it hits, I mean, it, you're not getting back up. Yeah, it, it was a knockout. So he's going to be in the main event, going for the the heavyweight championship. Uh, you have a match. I do. Yeah, you're in a you're in a tag match and. Uh, Against uh, some folks who you have a bit of a of a a uh, a reason to be in a match with. Yeah, you can say there's a bit of a vendetta there because two years ago, well, first of all, I'll let you know who it is. It's myself and Travis. We're taking on Blake Reed and Cecil Cerveza of the Wabash Talent Agency. Mm-hmm. Two years ago, Dicky Wabash, he, by by hook or crook, took my best friend away from me, Cecil Cerveza, and last year. He did the same thing to Travis Weir's best friend, Blake Reed. Mm. And now, I mean, the paths have crossed numerous times since then, but now it's the first time myself and Travis will team up to take on those two. Well, last, uh, not that long ago, they offered you a position in that. Yeah. In yeah, NBC. last week they, they tried, and I just I cannot bring myself to do that. Well, I have to say there has been a, a, a quite a bit of success for the Wabash Talent Agency, and... Uh, uh, while uh, I know a lot of the fans would rather you didn't, uh, I could see why someone would make the decision. There is an upside, but I mean, what what morals are you sacrificing? What are you losing in yourself by taking those shortcuts? The downside is you have to listen to Dickie Wabash all day. That would be that would be the downside. But uh, that's a, another one of the matches coming up. Uh, what else is on the card right now? Another one that was just signed this past week, it's going to be for the Tag Team Championships. Champions Rough Cut, Bo Sawyer, Josh Steele, will now defend in a triple threat tag team match Whoa. against the teams of Joey O'Reilly and Tornado Jones and newly reunited Team Sexy, Aaron Matthews and Jeff Harris. Well, Matthews and Harris have been uh, tag team partners for quite a long time and uh, and have won many championships in many different groups across the Midwest. 
uh, O'Reilly and uh, and uh, Tornado Jones are a couple of uh, guys who had t- really have no fear whatsoever going up and in, in, oh, they're daredevils. They're they're all over the place and and uh, if if you get a chance to see this rough cut team in action, folks, you like the old bruiser crusher tag team types. These guys are are your your bruisers. They come in, they they beat you up. Uh, they are a very they do a lot of very good teamwork. Uh, they just don't care who they're in with at this point. And I would say smash mouth smash style. Mouth, very that good. is that is the best way to describe those two. Yeah, and they're and they are uh, extremely good in the ring. They have improved as a tag team, and they were awfully good to start with. So that is one of the, one of the events coming up. And you got a couple more on the card. There's a couple more, including the debut. If you've been if anybody's been keeping track with UWC online of the last series of weeks, they've been seeing a lot of cryptic messages from a man named Norman. 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 I mean, and, and there's some Bayou Tapestry in there. There's some old Norman Conquest, Norman Invasion th- like themes in there. But the man is still fairly mysterious, and he will be there at UWC 7. He, In what capacity, we're not really sure, but he has made a vow that he will be at that event. So, I mean, that, that alone is something you'd want to come out to see. Norman. Yeah, okay. Uh, and now I know that you've got some... Uh, and there's there's a couple folks in there that I I really don't know what is what has happened with this this warden fellow, is a little off the wall and, and well more than a little off the wall you know that yeah I know that better than most people on the roster he personally has claimed to he has vowed to call out the current online champion Frank Wyatt but w- Frank Wyatt's been out with injury for the last three weeks because of an attack by warden so. If I, if that can happen, I don't know. I haven't. I don't know if Wyatt's even cleared. Well, you know, he, Wyatt Frank Wyatt's a big fella, but he was taken down by a, a shot from the the uh, what do you call it, a bow stick, whatever he carries. A, a bo- yeah, bow staff. I mean, uh, I don't something along those sure. lines uh, that the warden carries, and uh, uh, the warden's uh, is a bit out there. But uh, that we, we see what happens with that coming up too. You've got an opening band, which is something new for the for the UWC. Yeah, we this will be our first uh, full fledged concert mm. that we will be doing to open the show. It start special start time at six forty five. Jimmy Carrot, the Powder Keg, one of our premier athletes, will head up eight his band Eighteenth Origin to do a full half hour set before the show. That one starts at six forty five with our. UWC seven wrestling event starting at seven thirty, but I don't I don't see a better way to warm up a crowd like that than to give them some good old fashioned rock and roll. Yeah, there's nothing old fashioned about that rock and roll. I'm old fashioned. And well, you're old fashioned. My old fashioned might be a little bit. I'm I'm old, more than <laughs> fashioned. There's no, nothing fashioned about me whatsoever. But that is coming up. Uh, when do, when do the when does everything open up? When when can folks get in there? You, the doors will now open at six o'clock because of the the performance of 18th Origin. We're letting the doors open just a, a smidge early, so six o'clock p.m. You can get in, come get your tickets. There, uh, pre sales are out; they're gone. So wow. it's seven dollars at the door, and but still, I mean, seven dollars you get you get full access to two totally different and completely interactive shows: 18th Origin and UWC Seven. Yeah, folks. If you have a chance to, to uh, see UWC action, it's online. You can get, catch it online in, in some uh, on you on YouTube. It, no, not YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, yeah. uh, FNX.network. We're everywhere. Just usually, it's all uh, at UWC Georgetown. Facebook.com UWC Georgetown. Uh, Instagram UWC Georgetown. Twitter UWC Georgetown. YouTube.com UWC Georgetown. Or search for UWC Georgetown on FNX.network, our Australian sponsors that we have. Yeah, and news coming from that, too, uh, eventually. But uh, I'm going to be down there. Um, we'll see if uh, they can get my sorry carcass up there to do some commentary. And uh, if you come by, uh, come by and say hello. We'll be glad to shake your hand and uh, welcome you to some some uh, good, uh, fun professional wrestling and uh, a band, too, to rock your ears off coming up. On Friday night, get there at 6 o'clock when the doors open. $7 at the door. At the door. And uh, come on in to watch some some great entertainment on a Friday night. And uh, after that, you're still doing weekly shows. After that, we've just got the, the authorization. We will be weekly every Friday in April. Yep. So, uh, and those doors will be opening at 6.30 with our bell time at 7.30. Yep, so at 7.30. So, and... And uh, you want to you want to subscribe to the UWC stuff to find out about those cards coming up as well. Uh, Jason, as always, uh, good luck with your match. 
Uh, be safe and give us a good show. All right. Thank you. And uh, we'll be back with more here on 1490 WDAN.